I was seven years old in 1977 and um, so I was the prime age and like everyone else. I think prior to that I'd only seen sort of Disney animated films and then Star Wars hit and like everyone else around the world it was sort of a reinvention of cinema. Everyone, just, it, it was it was also very connected to my experience just of going to the cinema. It was like Star Wars was going to the cinema, you know? So it's been a part of my life for years. When John uh, uh, and Chris first pitched it to me, it was a lot of emphasis on mystery and um, he's contradictory. Uh, he, it's, it's almost like he doesn't really know who he is himself. So he invents himself in front of everyone. He's different names and different personas. And like I said, that meant there was a lot of room to play. Um, the question is, can the kids trust him? Obviously, a lot of questions have been uh, to me about working with, working with children. And from day one, what was apparent was that they were actually just really wonderful actors. And uh, they, were, they arrived ready and uh, um, they knew what they had to do. They were also incredibly adept. They really had a sense of, well, they took it very seriously and that they really had a sense of what was required of them emotionally. But then again, they were also kids. So they brought a huge sense of fun and joy and pleasure, which, you know, tonally was perfect for the piece, but also it's important to keep a, a spirit of play, I think, on film sets. It is where you go to, you know, construct drama and dreams and imagination. And they, they brought that in, in spades every day. It's so exciting. Yeah, I love London. It's so beautiful. When I saw a double decker bus, I almost cried because I love the Smiths. Um, <laughs> there's so a light pretty. that never goes out. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, London is amazing, yeah. and I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, it's a really exciting. I play Fern in the new Star Wars Series Skeleton Crew, and Fern is going through this transitionary period in her life that we all kind of go through, and she's finding who she is and her relevance to the world. She's looking all the way to your um, right for a moment. Just yeah, she's growing up in a society where there's a lot of expectations. <laughs> wow, there's so much excitement going on. Um, growing up in a society with a lot of expectations, and, you know, as for anyone, it's, it's hard, but get through it. I play KV. My character's more on like the quiet um, side. She's introverted like me. Um, she's re really resourceful and thoughtful and she's kind of like a protector for the group and she kind of um, balances out with Fern. Like Fern brings out the best in her and KV brings out the best and Sometimes in her. Fern needs the guidance Yeah, and um, I feel like Fern's character really helps like KV like speak up for herself and kind of like um, bounce, we bounce each other out, which is really amazing, and we all make a really good team, which is awesome. Working with everyone is kind of like a dream, and you know, going with the story, like we were kind of going on our own adventure together, so it was really fun. I was so excited when I figured out that I was going to be working out with a bunch of kids and knowing that we would be going through the same things together and um, especially like being part of such a big franchise, it was a little scary but um, everyone really helps and it was amazing. My dad's always been a big fan, my brothers too and it's really amazing now being part of Star Wars. Yeah, it's been so exciting, I've always been a fan, I'm pretty sure I manifested this. Um, so this is this is an honor and I'm so excited and this is just the beginning. It's, it's insane. so it's so fun that we're going international and we're I, getting to, you know. Yeah. No, no, you go. I oh no, I, I was just going to say it's so fun. It's such an honor being a part of this because this is it's such a crazy big universe and the fact that we're even if it even if it's a small part, we're a part of the Star Wars universe and that's crazy. I, I feel like London is like its own planet, which is just like, it's so cool too. That's and like I think it really vibe, kind of fits, yeah. yeah, and it definitely like fits like kind of the vibe of Skeleton Crew. So I really enjoy that about London. I think it's really cool that we're actually introducing it to more the London area, you know? Yeah. Uh, Wim is keyword dreamer. Uh, he's definitely a dreamer. He's imaginative. He's fun. Yeah, you know, he's lighthearted. Um, I feel like, you know, every kid goes through uh, they they ponder their place in the universe and place in the galaxy, so to speak, and that's what he's going through throughout the show, and it, it's that sustained concept of feeling throughout the whole series, except uh, over each episode, it changes. Even if it's subtle, it changes, and, and it's a lot of fun to play into that. Yeah, I would say Neil is definitely a loyal friend, um, a kind soul, and, um, and I think he's just kind of there for everybody when you need it the most.
They're all so amazing, They're and we're, so cool. we're all so close in age except for Jude, and that, that was so much fun. Yeah. And Jude is just such a phenomenal actor. Jude's phenomenal just, actor. Jude's just so old. He's not, he's <laughs> not, he's not hard. Yeah. <laughs> seeing all of the other creatures on set, like seeing all of the Jawas, like when I saw Jawa, I almost like, I flipped out. I was like, well, that is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, I, I love I love you know seeing all the other creatures and and there's so many other creatures that you'll see in the show that are so so cool you know. I think just getting the opportunity was so amazing Definitely, and so yeah. lucky and so much fun and uh, I loved the sets. There were so many unique and fun sets and um, I loved playing a Star Wars character. Like it's so different to play a Star Wars character, but he still feels like a real kid. Whim, which is yeah. so. Expect thrill, expect pirates, expect plunder, expect danger, expect fun. It's really it's really a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we did. This is gonna sound really like weird and like cringy, but expect the unknown, you know? Oh, like expect that's a good like one. don't don't be like looked like hooked on to what you're gonna expect. There's so much more in that. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's kind of surreal, <laughs> it's cold, we're in Trafalgar Square. <laughs> we got a little piece of our ship behind us. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> It's great. We're very, we're thrilled. I mean, the concept is just kids wanting to go out on a, a crazy adventure and then getting in trouble. That's <laughs> that's what we wished happened to us when we were kids, and now it is again. <laughs> yeah. Having an army of super talented uh, artists <laughs> behind you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we were very fortunate to be able to work with an amazing production designer as well as the whole design team at Lucasfilm. Uh, so with them behind you, it's it's uh, it's easy to make something beautiful. It wasn't difficult for us to merge those influences because it's just two things that we love. It's kind of in our DNA. So everything we think of has, I think, a little bit of 80s magic uh, and a little bit of Star Wars. We're, we're still pitching ourselves that we got to do anything in the Star Wars world, especially something as big as this. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's an honor, and it's thrilling, and it's terrifying a little bit. <laughs> I think it's going to be uh, really surprising to see the world of Star Wars through a whole new perspective. To be able to sort of step into the shoes of these four ten-year-old kids. And uh, it's a way to see the, the universe that we already know and love like in a new way.